So let's let's be clear that the trust between the CDC and the disability community has been broken. We acknowledge the apology you made at the start of this conversation. Um, and that is the first step, the first step to repairing our relationship, the first step to repairing that broken trust is a public apology, not just an apology to the organizations here, but a public apology from you, director, to the larger disability community. And the reason we opened this meeting today discussing why this has been so hurtful is because we don't feel that the CDC understands the impact of your words as director and the actions have on our lives. We don't feel heard and we don't feel represented by our government. Many of us here um, have served on the disability policy team that helped inform an inclusive platform for then candidate Joe Biden. And based on these policies, we worked really hard to help elect and put in office this administration. My organization, Little Lobbyists, um, endorsed Joe Biden specifically because of his explicit commitment to the disability community. He promised me that he would protect my disabled child's health care like it was his own. And he made that same promise to the disability community. And our community has shown up time and again to protect public health. We led the efforts to save the ACA when it was under attack. We were the first to go into and stay in lockdown when the pandemic hit. And yet time and again, our community has been forgotten. So when we tell you that we feel betrayed by this administration, please, please, please understand that we have been told in countless meetings and listening sessions by this administration, by you, that people with disabilities would not be left behind. And then we have spent the past year being left behind. And when we watch our disabled friends and family members die in congregate settings and die at disproportionate rates because of failed policies, it is a betrayal. When we are the ones who are most at risk in this pandemic, but have been left behind without reliable and adequate access to life-saving vaccines, masks, and testing, it is a betrayal. And when we hear you publicly say that it is, quote, encouraging news that we are the ones dying, it is a betrayal. And that betrayal warrants a public apology. Your commitment to rebuild trust and work with the disability community in good faith begins with a public apology based on an understanding of the harm done specifically how the CDC's policies are directly related to the frustration we're feeling today. And most importantly, we need you to follow through on that apology through changed policies. And we are ready to discuss those policy asks with you.